Science, science, science. Yes, good morning. We are outside and we are going to cook some bread for a couple reasons. One, I love barbecuing. I love experimenting and trying new things with the barbecue. And we've been making bread every day instead of buying it from the store, but it gets so hot in our house because you gotta bake it at a really high level. It's gotta be like 450, something like that. And our whole house just gets so hot and it's been really hot outside as well. So there's no escape from the heat and I decided I'm gonna try barbecuing it today. And instead of doing what normal people do and go online and look up some sort of recipe or technique on how to do this, I'm just gonna experiment. I'm using my big baking stone in here and I've got an oven thermometer. And you can see that it's already over 100 degrees. I don't think that's entirely accurate, but when it gets up into the 450 zone, it's usually pretty accurate. So I'm gonna use that to make sure it doesn't get too hot in here, but I'm gonna try it out. So I'm out in the garage right now. We keep a couple of buckets of dough out here. And typically what I do is set up a loaf of dough as the oven is preheating to rise. So while our barbecue is preheating, I'm gonna set up a nice loaf of dough here. And then I bake it in the oven at 450 degrees with a little water bath next to it, I'll explain what that is later, for about 45 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is just keep checking the barbecue and making sure that I get the temperature right because I feel like that's gonna be the hardest part with this is making sure the temperature is a consistent 450 degrees. Yeah, we're at 175 right now. Are you excited for barbecue bread? Yep. What do you think it's gonna taste like? Watermelon. Watermelon? Yeah. Good guess. So this is my water bath. It basically kind of creates a little bit of steam in here. And we're gonna place our loaf right there. Temperature kind of went down a little bit, so we're gonna raise the heat up a little. And we'll just keep checking on it. And hopefully by the end of this, We'll have some bread. All right, it has been 45 minutes. It's time to check on this bread and see how it's how it's doing. I've been checking on it periodically. It was looking all right, but let's see how it looks now. Okay, barbecued bread. Not too bad. Pretty, pretty burning on the bottom, it looks like. Oh, it's real stuck. Might not be cooked all the way through on the top. Oh yeah. That is Bernie, but it might taste good. I'm worried it's gonna be kind of doughy on the inside. I'm gonna move it over here, turn up the heat on this side, and let it, let it cook a little longer. All right, here is our loaf of bread. It sounds done here, but not up here. Here, it's, it's pretty spongy. We'll see if it's if it's cooked or not. All right, all right. That looks pretty good. Okay, it's gonna be hot. Ooh, ooh, it's a little hot, a little, a little burning. How is it? Mmm, barbecue. -y. Does it taste like barbecue? Mm-hmm. Well, no. It tastes like bread. I'm impressed though. Our house feels nice and cool inside and this this is cooked. It's a little burny on the bottom. But I kind of like that burny flavor. So I don't know if you guys know this, but Parker here loves science. Yeah. He's always asking to do science experiments, and today he brought me this book called Kitchen Science and we're going to make a volcano. But outside. With science, yeah, outside. We don't want all volcanoes going off in our house, right? Well, I guess it's not a real volcano, but. And Luke's here. Luke's gonna help us out 
from a safe distance. This is the sort of thing research chemists like to do, mix two different chemicals to cook up a third. In this case, the chemist is you, and the new chemical you're going to make is a very common gas. Step one is we're gonna fill one of these bottles partially up, like up to like here, with some of the apple cider vinegar. vinegar. I think you're supposed to use white vinegar for this, but we have this giant jug of apple cider vinegar that I think we didn't realize how big it was when we ordered it online or something. Do you know what kind of gas we're gonna make today? Bubbly gas. Bubbly gas? Do you know what it's called? A volcano. <laughs> it's called carbon dioxide. And it is the same kind of bubbles that make bath bombs go. Can you think of something else that bubbles that might use carbon dioxide? <gasps> Sparkling water. Sparkling water, that's right. Yeah, carbonated water. Ooh, <coughs> don't, don't sniff the vinegar. You'll, it's strong. <laughs> you'll regret it. Okay, now we need to, we need to color this uh, to look like lava. It's, it's pretty close. But I think uh, maybe a little bit of red might. Mm. Might be good. Try not to get that on your clothes or your uh, table or anything like that. Just a couple drops will do. That's enough, that's enough. Give it a little shake, shake, shake. Oh, that's probably pretty good. Look how red that is. What do you think? Yeah, we should do another one of these and make it yellow. Okay, in this bottle, we want baking soda. So can you fill, fill that partially up with the baking soda? All right, so that is our baking soda solution. That is our vinegar solution. Now, we're making a volcano, right? And we're gonna mix these to make our volcano erupt, but we don't have a volcano yet. So, we're gonna need to get some dirt. You know where to find dirt? Uh, in our backyard. Okay, let's find some dirt. All right, now we got a box of dirt, and Parker's gonna make a volcano. So we're gonna put this right there, that's perfect. And now we're going to bury it. You might want to have some, uh, you might wanna wet the dirt, make it kind of mud so that it stays up on it. What do you think? Yeah. Science, science, science. And what are you doing over here, buddy? What kind of atom? Um, it's oxygen. Oh, how many electrons does an oxygen atom have? Eight. It's gonna get a little muddy over here. Okay, that's 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 probably good. And uh, oh, just digging right in. Okay, all right, I like it. The leaf is what bothers you? Work your way down to the lid so you can take the lid off. I found it. Okay, so gently take the lid off. Oh, lids, mud's gonna come in. It's okay. All right, so there we go. We've got a volcano and some dirty hands. You need to go rinse off your hands with the hose. Safety goggles on. Nice. All right, here we go. Time for the experiment. Okay, stop. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, it's a volcano! It's, it's erupting! It's erupting everywhere! Look at that! Wow. You made a volcano. Erupt. I wonder if you put more vinegar in, what would happen? Let's do it. We gotta go get the vinegar. So Parker has decided to make a yellow version, which I don't, I don't know if, the yellow is gonna change the color of that all that much. Not much, but huh? some. Okay. Okay. Wait. Safety goggles on. Safety goggles on. Continue. Here we go. Volcano. Volcano! 
Oh no! Oh my that goodness! That one is like amazing. That was that was an eruption. It's still erupting. I know. Let me ask you this question. You had a powder, and it filled up like this much of the bottle. And then you had some vinegar, which also filled up about this much of the bottle. But somehow, when you mixed them together, it came out of the bottle. Why did it come out of the bottle? It was making an allergic reaction. <laughs> an allergic reaction? It was making a chemical reaction. Yes. And the chemical reaction cr created something that wasn't a solid, like the powder, or a liquid, like the vinegar. It was a a fizz, a fizz is a gas. And gas, when you produce a gas, the gas takes up more room. And so it couldn't all be contained in that little bottle, so it spilled out of the bottle all over the volcano. That's science. Are you saying science? Science, science, science. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this oxygen. I want to breathe it. Uh, I see your nucleus and I see your two areas for electrons. Uh-oh. Bailey made a model as well. What is this, hydrogen? Yeah. Oh, no. You know what happens? You've got a hydrogen and you've got an oxygen. If we had one more hydrogen, we could make water. <laughs> two hydrogens, one oxygen. H Two O. Parker really wanted to show Bailey how a volcano works. Do you know how a volcano works? Um, lava. Oh, volcano! It kind of looks orange. Look at that! You did it again, Parker. I did it again. You did it again. You made the volcano erupt. Jacob really wanted to try, so he's. Making some lava here. <laughs> Stop. Whoa! Dude, it looks I orange! Can I make this? This is the I cat. Yet. Look who just woke up from his nap. You take. It's Duncan. You take a funnel. <laughs> you always pose after you take a nap. <laughs> you need safety goggles on. And there's some on that bench right over there. Oh, looking slick. Okay, come around to this side. Pour it into the volcano. Good. Whoa! Whoa! We haven't finished yet. Whoa! It's orange! It is orange. Wow, that's a lot of lava. You made a lot of lava. Thanks. That is super cool, Duncan. Do you remember taking the out school class on volcanoes? Yeah. You made a volcano out of something. What did you make it out of? Um, um, Play Doh. Play Doh? Um, there's fire inside of it. Inside the volcano? Yeah. Inside. What What is that stuff called that comes out of the volcano? Do you remember? Fire? Fire, yeah. But it has a special name. Oh, it starts with an L. La. Lava. Lava, yeah, very good. You're so smart. Thanks. Well, I'm so glad you woke up from your nap and, and you were able to, to join us with our science experiment. Yeah. Very cool. Hey, Duncan. What have you been up to today, sir? I'm eating a banana. Yes, banana. How is it? Good. But I'm going to you're almost finished. So today is the day that I finally caved on our big old pantry purge and did a little grocery order. So we are feeling a bit replenished. We have had some of our like weekly um, deliveries that we normally get, like a produce delivery from a local CSA, and we also get like a daily harvest smoothie order. So those have come just because they were already set up and none of this was really planned out or expected. We just got back from Colleen's house and I was like, I don't want to order new groceries. I want to go through what we have and like get really creative. So we've been getting very creative. <laughs> but but today we're feeling good because we're back to having some of our staples and things that we order regularly. Huh? Like eggs. Like yeah. eggs. 
And yes, oh. we do order eggs regularly right now. We do have chickens. They're healthy and well. They just haven't been able to lay enough eggs to keep up with us the past couple weeks. What else are you excited that we got back um, in stock? Uh, did we get um, milk? Yes, we did. Found the bananas. Oh, can I have a banana? Yeah. I need to fill my <laughs> So, I am still feeling very inspired by what we've been doing this past week, and I want to keep it up. I'm hoping we can have done this order and then really make it last longer than we usually do. The things I really stocked up on today are things like milk and bananas, just typical sandwich bread, tortillas. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? <laughs> what are you what are you excited that we have in our kitchen again now? Think about it. I asked Duncan what is he excited about having in the kitchen? Um, probably bananas because I really milk. like making a smoothie. Um, milk, make a milk, a milk. Yeah. Not gonna tell you, but it involves bananas and peanut butter and ice and milk. 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 I like milk in That's my all kitchen. Oh, I like milk in. Oh, and it needs kitchen. three bananas. I like milk in my kitchen. <laughs> and a little bit of oh, ice. And a peanut I butter. Like Did I you like just give away your secret recipe? I'm not gonna tell it to anybody. I like <laughs> milk. It's good to have our staples back, but it's also been really nice to go through the excess that we had this week. And I'm gonna see if I can push them a little bit longer on this grocery order as well. Alexander Hamilton. So Luke's getting dinner on a show right now. <laughs> and I think he started singing along with Bailey. Like every once in a while, he'll just join in and it's really cute. You like Hamilton? I'm taking this toast with the Marines, making red coats, we're done both sins. Never gonna stop living of dark. Oh, we'll never. 